So, we're doing the effusion thing. All right, remember our formula, and remember our what everything means. That's important. Remember what every variable means here. Now, here's what we got to do. You notice we have molar mass and we have rates of gases. What we can determine based on looking at number one, we can find the molar mass of UF6 and we can find the molar mass of H2. So I recommend you do that first. So find the molar mass. It's uranium and six fluorides. I know the molar mass of hydrogen is H2. What we have to figure out is what the molar mass is of uranium hexafluoride. So if anybody actually does that, please let me know, because I would like to write it down. All right, fine, I'll write it down. So there's our molar mass of uranium hexafluoride. Just based on looking at that, which one probably will be faster? The smaller one, right? That's M2, right? Yeah, now here's the question, and this is the part where you get confused, is where everybody gets confused. Uh, what you have to figure out is which one's going to be R1, which one's going to be R2, M1, M2. This confuses everybody. So here's what we're going to do. It doesn't make a difference in terms of the answer, in terms of what the answer means. The answer would look different, but it would mean the same. So what I'm going to tell you is just how we're going to do it every time. Whatever's first, you see how UF6 is mentioned first? Yes. That becomes R1 and M1. So we're going to be plugging in values according to that for R1 and M1. Our second compound becomes R2 and M2. So those two will refer to the second one. So I want you to do this for every problem. Okay, every problem. Now, what this means in practicality. Do we know the rates for R1 or R2? Is it given? Is it told to us? Is it ever mentioned? No. No, so we are just going to be like, whatever. We're going to write those down, and we're going to assume we'll figure that out, because we will. So let's plug in our values. Notice how M1 goes on the bottom, and M2 goes on the top. It's whichever one is mentioned first in the problem, that's what you designate as R1 and M1, okay? Whatever's written second, you just designate, say, this is R2, M2. Now, you actually do this math, and you will get some answer. And what will that be? That sounds right. So you will actually get r1 r2 equal to 0 0.76 wait that's it 0 0.076 yeah that's what i thought oh, you made it look all messy wait what it's it's two zeros am i correct there yeah that's another zero there yeah that's oh. what no. 0 0.076 <laughs> last chance one zero before the dot, one zero after the dot. Thank you, Risk. Oh. Yay, look at that. Now, so once we've got this, okay, 0 0.076. Here's what this means. This is the part where you, where you have to actually think a little bit. We wanted the rate of effusion between the two gases. All we found out is some random number without units or anything. However, if you remember that this is UF6 and that this one is H2 based on how we labeled it, then what you got to think of is this. Any number can be put over what other number? One. So our rate is this. The rate is 0 0.076 to 1 for the rate of diffusion of uranium hexafluoride and uh, hydrogen. Will that be different than one? No. Because the way it will work, you're going to get either a decimal number or you're going to get something bigger than one. It'll either be like this small or it'll be like 2.7 or whatever. And what it means is, is simply that, in this case, you know, UF6 diffuses at a rate of 0 0.076 uh, 
to one atom of H2. That this is basically the final answer. Now I want you to think about this. If we were to switch it around, if we had instead put H2 as R1 to begin with, if we had made hydrogen R1 and the bigger one R2, this number would be much, much bigger, but it would be one of these, it would be like one of UF6 to, uh, to, I, to I don't even know, something huge. Yeah. That then, as long as you specified that it was like, you know, I I don't know. I'm just gonna randomly guess here. Like you see how those look different, but they mean the same thing. All this is saying either way, this is much faster than this. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Either way, it's showing you this one moves a lot faster than this one. Because it's this is the rate of speed, the rate of diffusion. So the higher the number, faster it goes. This has nothing to do now with mass. It has to do with the ratio. What? As long as you keep it straight throughout the whole problem, it doesn't matter. Okay. Oh no, for the homework, no. For the test, it'll be obvious. That's I know what you're asking. So. Does that kind of make sense with how to do these effusion problems? Yes. As long as you keep stuff straight and the numbers straight, it's easy. 